Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, uh, before I get into this, um, like I usually do, I'm gonna play some music in the background. Um, it's gonna be a uh, Shkemti, uh, Sunrise on the Old Kingdom. Uh, it's gonna be some uh, Arabian Dungeon Synth. I think that's what it's classified as. So, I'll get that going. Alright, so, I need to sketch in a little bit of history here. Um, a few years ago, I took up Guild Wars 2, and it became my favorite MMO. Uh, I'm actually beating out Final Fantasy XIV, the game I was, the other MMO I was playing at the time. Well, I got burned out on it and ended up, uh, I stopped playing. And then, some point later on, um, I tried taking it up again, but, uh, all of a sudden, I couldn't play it at all. Like, the game kept crashing. Like, it, it would get to the character select screen, but the moment I chose one, it would crash. Like, I'd get the, uh, pop-up from Arena and, and, and everything. And, um, it, it kind of coincided with my, um, graphics card drivers. Just, they need to be updated. But, um, for, 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 reason, for reasons that it would be uh, too long to explain, um, for about a year, for, or I should, let me rephrase that, for at least a year, I, I couldn't get into the game at all because it would always crash. So, like, I couldn't even start it up. Well, recently, um, all of a sudden, out of the blue, um, it just up and worked. So, yeah, just, I was able to play once again. So, I've uh, recently been taking it up. Um, so, and then on top of that, um, even though I don't really play Final Fantasy XIV anymore, I still post on the, um, on the Lodestone blog. I still do that to this day. So, what about what I'm gonna start doing is um instead of having a like when I when I post my goings on in Guild Wars 2 and Final Fantasy 14, yeah, technically I'm not supposed to do that, but I've been like I said I've been I've been playing you know I've been playing a lot like back in the day and no one said anything so anyway getting getting back on subject um. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna try doing is I'm gonna try uh, doing a, I'm gonna try doing quickie demos of the uh, classes, classes and builds that I usually play. Um, in this way, it'll be a lot easier for me to, it'll be a lot easier to post a link to a video, um, just doing a, doing a demo of whatever class I want to talk about on my blog. And um, I do this with um, another game I play a lot, Gems of War. Um, it just it's I'll do a I'll do team demos I'll, or I'll make a team demo videos um, I'll also do uh, tutorials on how certain game modes events game mechanics work it's easier for me to just talk it out than it, than it is for me to just sit here and type out this big old wall of text trying to explain everything I want to explain so I thought I would go ahead and do that with this game as well just do like a um, class and build demos Rather than have you know, rather than having to sit here, type a a mile long wall of text, you know, on my blog trying to explain, you know, what class I'm using and how it works and stuff like that, it's easier to just post a link to a video. So, so that being said, um, you're looking at him right now. Um, this is my main. It's my engineer, and then um. I'll have to explain a bit about uh, on how uh, gameplay in Guild Wars 2 works, because it works vastly different than Final Fantasy XIV does. And I think probably the best place to do that, because the game, most parts of the game, they don't have training dummies or hell. The PvP lobby is actually the best, is the only place I can think of that has training dummies, but I figured um, just killing a bunch of birds with one stone would probably be the better course of action. So let me, and as you can see here, I'm um, looking at the map, and just like Final Fantasy XIV, it's got its own, uh, it's got its own waypoints. For 
right now I'll I'll pick a like an easy starting area. We'll say I guess we can So once again, um I'm just um this is basically a showcase of my uh, engineer character. Oh, and um, also I forgot to mention too. This is um, I'm also uh, I'm also doing laundry while um, while this is going on. So I got an egg timer going. So when you hear the alarm go off, that means my clothes are dried. So, but. But yeah, um, kind of like, kind of the way, um, FF14 works. You know, there's, uh, there's nine classes in this game. And there's also, um, uh, and then, what attacks, what, what attacks you have depends on what weapon you have equipped. Like, currently, I have the hammer equipped. So, and... Depending on what class you have, in my case being the engineer. And I'm hoping you can um, see the tooltips. Yeah. I got the hammer, and so now I got all these different abilities. But if I switch weapons, which I believe is now. is now the rifle. Um, the rifle is also a two handed weapon, so. Lot back, and then the engineer, I believe, is considered the most compl most complex class in the game because he's not limited to just uh, just the two weapons here. He can also he could equip various firearms. He could equip a bunch of other things too. But, uh, yeah, engineering kits like. Like, my main weapon is the flamethrower. You know, there's elixir gun, toolkit. And on the right here, I forgot to mention, but these are, uh... You have access to various healing skills. And the same thing here. You have, uh, three additional abilities. You can choose them from this whole pool here. The other weapon that I use, engine, the flamethrower. But it doesn't have to just be a flamethrower. And then, at least for this particular class, what you have equipped here determines what you also have equipped here. So in my case, I have like the medic gyro. Then you have then it, must have a it, it, um, it has a reconstruction field here. Both of them are healing abilities. Yeah. But like I said, I'm I'm currently equipped on the flamethrower right now, but I also have the elixir gun equipped. So you got a whole So right now I have I have four different uh four different uh skill bars. Now, am I going to use every single one of them? No. No, this is my main weapon right here, flamethrower. So. And then, oh, and this one here, this is the, um, these are elite skills. But, uh, I prefer to have this. Um. One of my all-time favorite weapons in any game at all, the Immortal Kit. The problem is, and hey, here's another, and here's another skill bar. The problem is, uh, the mortar is murder on the ring finger. I use my ring finger to hit the uh, one key. Unlike most other games, mortar abilities are manually aimed. As 
you can see. And then, um, I guess while I'm here, uh, quickie deek, uh, quickie deek explanation on how combos work in this. You have two kinds. A combo field and a combo finisher. And then, the, when you combine the two, it creates a certain effect. Like in, for example, water is, um, usually the heal, is usually the healing one. And then when you lay the field down, any shot, any ability that's a combo finisher that passes over this area will, will trigger it. So as you saw there, regeneration. And then, let's say four here. Combo field is light. So that usually means uh, it uh, cleanses debuffs. Let me see if I can uh, put it on myself. Remote condition. Let's see if I can uh, cast regeneration on myself. Nope. I think, uh, I think because my mortar has to actually hit something. So, but anyway, like I said, um, one of my, one of, or no, one of, if not the all-time favorite weapon of mine in any game is that. But again, it it really tears up my uh, ring finger, and I think that's probably one of the reasons why I quit playing this game because my ring finger was so so messed up and just just caught. Constantly shooting. And then, and then here's the uh, here's the build here's the build screen. Uh, basically, a bunch of these. These are all basically. Uh, many talent trees. I'm hoping you're able to see these tooltips. Range threshold. So, you can choose one of three. And the big one here, this is why I use the flamethrower. If you can look up, it up gradually gives you might, meaning you deal more damage. Also gives you stability. Um, as it says, you can't be knocked down, pushed back, pulled, launched, stunned, dazed, floated, sunk, feared, or taunted. And there are a lot of those effects going out here in this game. So, so yeah, very valuable right there. Firearms. That was the one I just showed. Like I'm currently equipping a flamethrower, but it would also apply to the elixir gun. Um, I don't think it would apply to grenades, but uh, it would also to the uh, apply to the rifle that I have. Strapper, Strapper's an elite spec, but it goes good with a flamethrower. The function gyro refers to this. If you see there, if you see it there in blue, it also gives me stability. And it, as long as you have stability, you gain more and more might, which means you deal more and more damage. Any kind of heal skill, including this, which means this, or this. Yeah. So as long as you have swiftness or super speed, you're, you're getting a heal over time. And barrier works just like, um, oh, well, I asked my laundry. So. I don't know how well you heard that, but 
the barrier, it kind of works the same way Scholar's shields work in FF14. And same thing here. If I can gain it at least 10 stacks of might, then I'll have an additional stack of stability. And, uh... And it looks like, uh... Oh, might gives you uh, extra damage. Oh, and I also forgot to mention too. Um, these um uh, these working these working stacks. So it's not a it doesn't it doesn't protect against all these abilities. Like for every every instance of like say getting knocked down, removes a stack. So. skill, it removes, uh, it cleanses debuffs from, uh, everybody around me. Oh, actually, wait, 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 let me, I take that back. It technically is an area effect. A lot, of, in this game here, it's, it can be classified as an area effect, as AoE, but it's only gonna affect up to five targets in that area. anything better on this one here. Yeah. Same thing here. Um, whenever I use a heal skill, everybody around, or up to five targets around me is going to have their damage reduced by a third. Extra movement speed. And, uh, if any of these conditions hit me, uh, mobilize, cripple, and shield, they're reduced by a third. Almost never gonna have regeneration. So then, some of the healing I do to myself is gonna be um, is basically gonna be a heal over time to everybody around me. But um, let me um. I guess I could show another aspect of this game. Yeah, that, that'll take too long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of introduce the concept of world bosses. They kind of work the same way hunts do in FF14, but uh, I believe with this here, I, in 14, I think you can only, um, you can only kill a hunt once per day. Here, in this game, you could do it once per day, per character. So, but, Slink back to your home. And yeah, there are mounts in this game. And unlike 14, these ones here, each one, they do something different. But, um... I need help. Okay, so either there's nobody here to do them. Normally, you have to be in this area to do one of the required events. Good time to demo the flamethrower. Okay. 
Now, unlike 14, you can tap target them. But uh, you're not, you don't have to. You can also manually aim as well. There is dodge rolling in this game, too. You just um, double tap a direction, roll away. Okay, I got him targeted. He has super swift, and he also has Aegis as well. For these uh, world bosses, he's the world boss. You require a boatload of people to do these, but you would have to complete all the required events in this area first um, in 17 minutes. But as it looks like there's only two people here, me and him, that ain't gonna happen. But like I said about combos. There's, I got one of lightning, one of land, I just showed you that, one of water. So, let's, let's put this one down. And then. And now he's got swiftness. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there's also different types of finishers as well. Blast. See a brown heart appear, and then saying something like, like say, uh, area healing. That means a combo effect went off. Like in this case here, that's what I was trying to say. There is also different types of finishers. This one here being blast, which means it's the combo is going to affect the entire area effect. Area healing. favorite weapon is this mortar. Yeah. 
There we go. Yep. I have regeneration now. So. When your lives do. So yeah, mortars have to actually hit something in order for the combo effect to kick in. <laughs> so I feel six feet tall. Okay, so I'm gonna. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm about to throw a, throw a freeze AOE. See the chill? Or maybe not. Guess he decided not to move. Yeah, probably a bad example. These guys have range attacks. That wrong. I should have played. I should have placed it between me and him. I think that's how it worked. I promise a painful end. So. Equip the flamethrower. I wouldn't have gotten knocked down like that. Yep, he's chilled. But again, whenever you see that brown heart with uh with something written in there, like in this case, chill, that means a combo effect has gone off. Slink back to your home. But anyway. Um, okay, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good here. Um, I hope I explained everything as best, or I let me praise it. I tried to explain everything as best I could in the short amount of time I had, which is about a half hour, so I kind of went over long on this, and... So I'll just go ahead and call it good here. I still have to uh, go grab my laundry, so... But thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time.